It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those New Year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery maker, sewing street and hobby maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging jewellery maker, hobby maker or sewing street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewellery Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. Very good morning to you, wakey, wakey, rise and shine. It's breakfast time. At least it is for me. Mm. I can't be a nice brew in the morning. Can you? Well, I've gone for coffee this morning. I'm mixing things up a bit. And we're going to be mixing things up a bit during the show today because we've got lots and lots and lots and lots of different things going on. This morning, my name's Ben Marine. Of course, you're watching Wake Up With Hobby Maker. Good morning to you, everybody at home. Um, so, of course, this is Hobby Maker Rewind from six until seven. Uh, and then from seven until eight, we have the Hobby Maker Highlight. So, what is Hobby Maker Rewind? Hobby Maker Rewind is we, when we take some of your favorite items, some of the best selling items, some of the most popular items from the previous day or so, and we bring them back for you for the first hour of the morning. Because some of you, you've been out doing other stuff you know you've not had a chance to see them so we've hand-picked some of the best-selling items and brought them back and that means we've got a bit of an eclectic mix going on this morning now if you are new to hobby maker welcome it's a pleasure to have you company thank you very much for joining us and just very quickly, it's a good idea to let you know how you can uh, contact us because Hobby Maker and particularly Wake Up With Hobby Maker is a fully interactive show and that means I want to hear from you at home. You know, my guest who's coming a bit later, I won't tell you who it is, uh, she will want to hear from you as well. So you can contact us. There's a couple of ways you can contact us, actually. You can drop us an email, studio at hobbymaker.co.uk and you can send in any questions you've got. You can send in any messages that you've got for us. Hey Ben, you're doing that all wrong. Can you cover that bit again? This is what me and Bernard the cat did for Christmas. Um, or we would love you to send in some of your your crafty makes as well. Send us in some pictures of your crafty makes. They don't have to be related to what we've got on the show today. And of course, if you send in your crafty makes, you will of course get entered automatically into our £100 prize draw. All you have to do is send in a copy of your uh, crafty make. It will go into the pot and the last Saturday of the month, we will draw a winner. It doesn't matter whether you've used items from Hobby Maker or the shows. It doesn't matter what the craft is. Just send them in. We would love, love, love to see them. And if you're the lucky winner, you will win £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account. The other way, of course, that you can contact us is through the website, through our direct messaging service, which is really, really easy as well. Just pop over to hobbymaker.co.uk and you'll see on the screen in front of you uh, the little video screen, click watch now, and a little box will appear to the right-hand side where you can punch in your message and press send now, and that will come straight here to us at Hobby Maker HQ. The other good thing about the website, of course, is everything that we have coming up on the show today is available on pre-order. What does that mean? What does pre-order mean? Uh, do you know, uh, sometimes people do ask that, and I saw on the uh, on one of our Facebook groups the other day, somebody was saying, Dang, what is the pre-order? I've heard presenters talking about pre-order. Pre-order doesn't mean that you order it today and you get it at some point in the future. No, no, no. Pre-order is simply our term for saying, look, you don't have to wait for us to show the item live on the show before you can put it in your basket or indeed buy the item. Um, so all you need to do is pop onto the website, pop below uh, the, uh, the show, uh, 
scroll down and everything that's on the show today will appear and you can you can put it in your basket right away you can put it in your basket right away even before we have shown it so we've got lots and lots coming up on the show today don't forget as well if you like to you can give us a call at our uk based free phone 24 hour a day call center based right here at Hobbymaker HQ. And we will be happy to help you amend your order, add items, take items off, answer your questions, apply a code, whatever it is you need. Uh, give us a call, the number will come up on the screen shortly. Now, no Wake Up With Hobbymaker show is complete without introducing you to our crafty crew. And in the studio this morning, on cameras, we've got Dan, morning Dan. Morning, morning. Yeah, big bear, big bear Dan, we'll call him. Morning, big bear Dan. Uh, and then we've got uh, gorgeous Dan. He's hiding around the floor, uh, floor somewhere. There he is. He's floor manager this morning, giving us a wave. He's got a bit more colourful this morning. Not that you can see him because he's he's in his usual position, which is in the shadows. He likes to be in the shadows. Uh, you might have spied our, our crafty guest in the background of the studio as well, but I'm not going to tell you who it is. Uh, there she is. I was gonna we're not going to say what we're going to say. And um, in the gallery, of course, uh, directing this morning, we have got Adam. And producing, we've got Ellie. Morning, guys. Morning, morning. There we go. There we go. So there we go. That's our crafty crew and our crafty family. Right. It is time to get cracking. And we have got so much to get through uh, on the show for you uh, today. So first of all, we're going to, I did say to you we're going to have sort of an eclectic mix of items on the show today because we've, we've handpicked some of the best and most popular items of the last day or two. And we're starting off actually with the heart-shaped MDF box. So we've got a selection of boxes on the website. Uh, great, great, great for, uh, for of course, um, uh, multimedia and, and so on. Uh, you can paint these, you can decoupage them, there's all sorts of different things that you can do. But we have got a selection of the boxes available on the website, so do keep your eyes peeled. But we're just bringing you some of the really, really popular ones, including this lovely little heart-shaped box. There we go. And you think, well, it's not long now. Valentine's Day is on the rise. There we go. All sorts of things you could do with that. Valentine's Day is coming up. There we go. If you wanted to, you could send producer Ellie a birthday present in this because it's her birthday on, is it on Valentine's or around Valentine's? The day after Valentine's. So she'll be looking forward to opening that and finding in there some chocolates. Do you like chocolates, Ellie? Yeah. Some jewellery, she's thinking, maybe in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what she likes. So, um, yeah, you could use it for, for, uh, uh, for a gift. Maybe, that might be a nice thing. All sorts of things you could do with that, um, of course. Um, really, really nice indeed. Very, very popular these have been. And you might want to use it for that, but you might want to use it for personal items as well. You know, you might want to create a memory box, for instance. And I think these are really, really good for uh, memory boxes, all of these. So we'll have a closer look at those. But we've got the hearts. There it is. $14.99 is the price uh, that you'll be paying for that at the moment. This has been one of our most popular MDF uh, boxes and that's why I bring it to you this morning 14.99 is the price but we have another selection as well we have another two or three which have also proven to be really really popular we've got the octopus octagon they've both got eight haven't they <laughs> you could paint an octopus onto it if you wanted quite right there we go now, this is nice because you've got the dividers in there, but you don't have to have the dividers. They do just lift, lift out. There we go. Nice and easy. So I'm thinking again, great for a gift, if you wanted to use it for a gift. Great for a memory box. I'm thinking, what a great jewellery box. Great jewellery box. This is more the one Ellie was thinking about, wasn't it? She could have a chain in one. She could have rings in this one over here. Bracelets in this one over here. Earrings. She's already thought it out. She knows what she's having in hers. There we go. So we've got the octagon box. There we go. Again, MDF, great for painting, great for decoupage. Um, really, really nice indeed. Lots of different things you could do. That You could cover that in photographs maybe. That's another thing that you could do. All sorts of things. And it comes as well with the clasp so that once it's closed, you can just stop the lid coming open. There we go. Again, great for a memory box. Want to keep memories in there. 
Uh, maybe you've got a new baby or something like that and you want to keep its first set of booties in there. Um, might want to keep uh, a lock of hair in there, all sorts of different things. Maybe it's a memory box from a holiday. Maybe it's a memory box from your um, for a child, for children, for you know, for the grandkids, for the kids, maybe from your childhood, christening, good thinking, good thinking in there, Adam. Lots of things. So there we go, eleven ninety nine. It's no wonder uh, that these have been some of the most popular ones because they're really great, great price. So we've covered the heart, we've covered as well the octagon. We've also got which one do you want to go to next, Ellie? We're going to go. She said, I want to see your chest. Let me oblige. There you go. <laughs> this one's a bit more impressive. So we've got the treasure chest here. Um, we've got the clasp on the front as well, just the same as the octagon box there as well. And again, this could be used again, maybe just for storage, maybe for a gift, maybe as a uh, memory box. Could also be used for children's parties. Maybe, if it's a treasure chest, maybe you've got a pirate themed party, pirate and princess party. You put in there lots of sweets and bits. Use it as a lucky dip. Use it as well as a toy box. You know, if you've got uh, those popular building blocks that you stand on and curse when they get under your bare feet, uh, this could be ideal for keeping something like that in. Really, really nice indeed. These have proven really, really popular. This is the most popular selection of the MDF boxes. Um, on the website and on the shows. In fact, we've got less than 20 of these available now. People have already been checking out on these. Less than 20 of these available. 21.99. What strikes me as well about this is the depth. They're really, really deep, these treasure chests. And that's how I like my treasure chests, deep. I call it a treasure chest. It doesn't have to be a treasure, it's just a chest, isn't it? So you could use it again for memories, uh, storage, all sorts of different things. I really like that. Great for kids' parties, great for storing, uh, again, the blocks. Really useful indeed. Really nice. Again, maybe you might want to keep these, you know, in your bedroom. Maybe you can decorate it and keep some personal items in there. Really nice. Um, if you wanted something a bit more delicate or a bit smaller, we have a selection of three. Now, these come in a set these three. So I'm going to walk you through those and show you what we've got. But these come in a set. So the price that's on your screen at the moment is actually for all three of these. All three of these. There you go. $12.99 is the price. $12.99 is the price. And you're getting all three in there. So let me talk you through those. So that comes to what? £4.33 a box? Is that right? Something like that. So first of all, we've got the little book. This would go actually quite well with the chest, if it was a treasure chest, like this old sort of, uh, old sort of book. Really nice. There we go. So you can see the bookend. I always think when I see these, great for the, um, great for the storage, of course. Um, put some personalised and put some valuables in there and put them on your shelf, you know. Uh, it's a great disguise, having it as a book. Maybe you want to create a book set. Again, maybe you want to recreate your favourite book. Maybe you could have Charles Dickens' collection on there. Really nice indeed. Christmas Carol's my favourite. I like that. You could recreate that. But um, great, um, uh, great little storage boxes there. Really nice. Uh, so that's the book. That's the book. There's also, which could also be considered to be a book, I would say. Could use that perhaps as a book as well. This one's slightly different, however. This is a drawer. There we go. I really like that. Really nice. That's good, isn't it? It doesn't have to be a book. It could be drawers. Could use it as drawers. You could get them and stack them, maybe. Again, jewellery box. Could make a great jewellery box. Really like that. Um, so you're getting both of those, and you're getting possibly my favourite out of the collection, which is kind of the little the handbag or purse sort of uh, box as well. Now, I like this for a couple of reasons. I like it. First of all, because it's got this space here that you could be putting in there a tile or you could put in there a, uh, a photograph or something like that in the front there. I really like that. Perhaps a name. All sorts of different things you could put in there. Maybe you could actually cut that out and put a little bit of perspex or, 
or uh, something behind there so you could see inside the box. Um, I like it as well because it's got the little handle on it. There we go. So, uh, really, really nice indeed. Again, comes with the clasp, as you can see. Again, could be a good uh, gift box, could be a good jewellery box, could be a good memory box, all sorts of bits you could use that for. And these are a great price because, in actual fact, $12.99 is the price for all three of those. So you'd be getting the handbag or the purse, depending on what you want to call it, the book as well, and you get as well the other book or draw, depending on what you'd like to use it as. So you're getting all three of those in there. $12.99 is your price. $12.99 for all three of those. $12.99. It's no wonder that these have been so popular because you can paint them, you can decoupage them. There's all sorts of different things, in actual fact, that you can do with these as well. Oh, that's all the boxes done. You know, there's a lot of you shopping ahead already. It's a good idea to shop ahead because, of course, anything that you buy now and you put in your basket you pay for now, you pay only one P&P all day. So anything that you get now, you pay your P&P and that's it. Anything else throughout the show or throughout the day, you buy again. You pop in your basket, you tick combine order, and you, that's it. You, you don't pay any more P&P, it's already paid. We love that. What are we going to go to next, Ellie? There we go. So we're going to have a look at the paints next, which is, uh, which is apt, really. I'm just going to move these little canvases for a second so our Dan can get a nice shot. There we go. Look at that. There we go. So now you're getting all three of these, you're getting all three of these, and this is uh, the first set. So the different colours that you are getting in there, the official colours, are uh, you're getting yellow, of course, you're getting light orange, and you're getting fuchsia in there as well. These are a hybrid acrylic multi-surface paint. So just have, having had a look at the MDF boxes, these would be great for using on your MDF boxes, fantastic, and a range of other craft uh, items. You can use these on canvases as well. You could use these on different furniture. Maybe you're upcycling. Could be used really, really good, uh, really well for that. Uh, you can use it on metal as well. You can use it on glass. Terracotta, I've just been told you can use it on. Wow. Uh, you can use it on plastics and fabrics, indoor and outdoor as well. Indoor and outdoor as well. It's moisture and rust resistant as well. And you don't need any primer or sealer, I've been told. That's really handy. So it's essentially paint and go. MDF, glass, plastic, metal, canvases, whatever you want to paint on, essentially, you can use because this is a multi-service paint, even glass. I'm impressed with that. Even the glass as well. And now that's your first set, £13.60. We've got a selection of sets available on the uh, show this morning, but this is your first set, 1360. So you're getting the fuchsia, you're getting the light orange, and you're getting the yellow as well in your first set. £13.60 is your price. This goes quite a long way as well, I should point out. Uh, a little goes a long way, so you don't need a huge amount. These are going to last you a very, very long time, depending on how much you use them, obviously. Um, but uh, that's set number one, 1360. Don't forget, this morning we're bringing you some of the most popular, best-selling items of the last couple of days. So if we're bringing it to you, these are already very, very popular items indeed. So that's set number one. So we're going to go for set number two. There we go. Let me get that. There we go. There we go. So on there, you're getting three different colours, obviously, in set number two. You are getting ultramarine, which is that one. You're getting turquoise and pistachio green. Ultramarine, pistachio green and turquoise. They're the three different colours that you get. Again, it's the same multi-surface paint. Use it on glass, use it on plastics, use it on canvas, use it on metal. It's rust resistant, it's good for indoor, it's good for outdoor. Maybe you're upcycling furniture, maybe you're doing some painting. Maybe what you want to do is use it on you know, MDF shapes and MDF boxes like the ones we've got on the show today. Can be used for all of those different uh, uh, uses. Very, very popular already these are. This whole collection of the hybrid paints 
is really, really popular, which is why we've brought it back for the Hobby Maker Rewind this morning. £13.60 is the price, and you're getting all three of those. Just to recap, you're getting the turquoise, you're getting the ultramarine, and you're getting the pistachio. That is set number two. £13.60 is your price for those. And then finally, we're going to, we've got two more. So we're going to these ones. Let me bring these over here for you. I didn't actually need to move those ones, Dan, did I? There we go. I didn't really need to move those because on the front of the desk. So these again are the same hybrid paints, but, th uh, paints, but this time you've got black and white. There we go. So two of your key colours. Again, can be used on plastic, metal, canvas, glass. You can use it on as well. Doesn't need a primer. Indoor, outdoor use. Can be used on a range of craft products, uh, craft uh, projects, I should say. There we go. 9.98, so under a tenner. Don't forget, anything that you buy on this morning's show, once you've paid your postage, once you've paid the postage, it's good for 24 hours. So your postage is good from midnight last night to midnight through tonight. Anything you order from Hobby Maker during the day until midnight tonight, just click combine order, you'll only pay one postage. There you go, brilliant. Now, we've talked about using the paints for upcycling furniture, on glass, on plastics, on the MDF boxes and so on, but you might want to use them on something a little bit more traditional. You might want to do a bit of painting. Now, in here, you get a pack of five. Just look at my glasses, they're on my head. On here, you get a pack of five of the canvases. I've got four here, but you actually get five in the pack, which is worth noting. Um, now, these are sort of A4 in size, essentially. Um, they're blank, they're ready to go. These are going to be absolutely ideal for your acrylic paints. Absolutely ideal for your acrylic paints. £9.62, so less than £2 a canvas. Less than £2 a canvas. That's, that's really, really good. Because you're thinking they're A4, because you, you can get multi packs of the smaller ones, which are sort of more A5 size, or even A6 sort of postcard size. And you'd be paying in that kind of region in some art shops. 9.62 for five A4 canvases. These are gonna work really, really nicely with your acrylic paints, really nicely. There we go. And don't forget, it's New Year, New Hobby. It's New Year, New Year, New Hobby. If you've not seen our Facebook group, go and have a look at that New Year, New Hobby. It's all about giving you a go, getting you to have a go at something new. And, you know, sometimes we're bound a little bit by cost. £9.62, five canvases, and one of the sets of paints you could get as well on top of that. You know, you're talking 20 quid, something like 20 quid, maybe 25 quid. Start yourself a new hobby. Have a go. Have a go. Right, we're gonna go now to one of our essential items, which is always, always, always a popular uh, item to have on the show. Uh, and it is, of course, the Miri card. Now, this is Essentials Miri that you're getting in here. Just get that. There we go. Uh, this is your Essentials Miri. It's because I'm gonna bend it the other way, you see. There we go. And look how, look at the reflection on that. Look at that. That's incredible. It's almost like a mirror. There we go. Can, can we see Dan behind there? Give us a wave, Dan. There he is! There he is. That's him in his bear pose. There we go. 9.99. So that works out in terms of cost at 49 pence a sheet, which is incredible because you are, of course, getting 20 different sheets in here. Let me fan them out so you can see uh, some of the colours that you're getting. Now it's 220 GSM. In order for this to be classed as Miri card, by the way, because you have to be careful out there, in order for it to be classed as Miri card, there's certain requirements it must meet, and it has to have a certain reflective value apart from anything else. Um, so this is Essentials Miri card, proper Miri card. Uh, you're getting 20 sheets, you're getting uh, 20 sheets in there. The colors you're getting, as you can see there, will include blue shimmer, blushing pink, chalk box purple, copper blaze, copper blaze, emerald green, frosted green, can you tell I'm reciting these? Fuchsia pink, glamorous gold, holly green, lilac shimmer, midnight black, 
pastel pink and peacock blue, pillar box red, rich burgundy, rose gold, soft blueberry, steel grey, stunning silver and vivid violet. You're going to get all of those in one set. And I'm going to give Ellie, our producer, a tenner if she can say all of those again really fast. Not really. Uh, <laughs> that that threw her. She, oh my God, oh no. Oh no. So you're getting all of those in your Miri card collection. $9.99. So you're getting 20 different sheets in there. And again, you can see how smooth the finish is on the Miri, which is one of the reasons it's so popular. So smooth, in fact, that you can use it almost as a mirror. There we go, it's the real McCoy. 9.99, always very, very popular this. Uh, and of course, on the Hobby Maker Rewind show, it's no wonder. There we go. Now we're gonna have a little look at the paper library. Now this was on uh, in the last day or so as well. Um, now the paper library, I have shown you a few times before, and every time um, I show you this, it just goes really, really well indeed. Now the price on your screen, which was 89.99, is not your price this morning. It is not your price. It is down to 44.99. 44.99. What am I getting? Let me show you. So in here, you're getting this little library, this little um, storage uh, bag here, which has a sort of a filing system. You've got space there, little tabs there, so you can put little notes in to keep your papers separated. And it's a great way to keep your 12 by 12 and other papers nice and flat and well stored. And that's really, really important because what you often find with the 12 by 12 is if you're not careful and it ends up on a shelf or it ends up in a drawer, you know, 12 by 12 is not conducive to a lot of shelves. It can, you don't want to be standing up because you might bend it. If you lay it down, it's probably wider than the shelf in a lot of cases. I've often heard people talk about how it can get damaged if you're not careful, the 12 by 12. You can get folds in it, you can get tears in it, uh, and it will, you know, it will curl if you're not careful. So you do need to make sure that you look after your 12 by 12, and this is a really, really great way to look after your 12 by 12 papers. Now, you can put in here your own 12 by 12 papers, of course, but in the library, you will of course get a collection of papers. And I'm very quickly going to show you some of the papers. Oh, I'll grab another one of those there. I'm gonna show you some of the papers that you get. That was back to front, that one. What have we got here? I'm gonna show you some of the papers that you get. There we go. I'm trying to find something sort of spring and summertime because of course we come into spring and summertime now. Uh, although you wouldn't know it necessarily. Um, so you're getting there a selection of 12 by 12s. You're getting 150 single-sided sheets of the 12 by 12 as part of the uh, paper library, and it's 120 GSM. Let's have a look at some of the other selections that you've got in here as well. There we go. Oh, I like that one. You know, and just think as well, if you've got the MDF boxes or something like that, don't forget... You could use something like this for some decoupage if you wanted, Co cover up those uh, boxes. You could use it for that, of course. Great for scrapbooking, great for die cutting, great for embossing, all the usual things that you would expect. Let's get some more out there, what have we got? There we go. This is a nice one, isn't it? So there we go, 44.99, and in there you are getting 150 sheets single-sided, they're all different by the way, all of them are different, uh, 100, 150 single-sided 12 by 12 sheets, 120 GSM, and they come in your storage, enabling you to keep them nicely organised, but also to keep them nicely looked after and flat. Oh, let me show you the star one. There we go. So this is the celebrations selection. Each of the sheets are different. I'm just going to take the little ribbon. That's why I've had a little bit of trouble uh, flicking through those. Um, let me take it out all together, because there are more fingers and thumbs. There we go. Let's have a little look at the papers we've got. So this is a celebration. This is a very sort of uh, US feel to the, some of those papers there. There we go. So you can see all of them are different. 12 by 12 is the size that you get. 
and you're getting in 150 sheets. And what I love about the paper library is it's got the little handle on it. You can take it wherever you want to take it. Uh, and if you've got an existing stash of 12 by 12 papers, they will go perfectly in there for your storage. There we go. There we go. 44 99 is the price. 41. And that's you've got to bear in mind actually that normally it's what 80 80 89. 89. So essentially this is half price this morning. Really good. So it's no wonder these have been really really popular. This is always popular. Always popular. There we go. Let's pop this away. Now, we've also got, I did say it was a sort of an eclectic mix uh, on this morning. Let's pop that back in there. There we go. That's better. There we go. Fingers and thumbs this morning. There we go. Don't forget to get that in your basket. Right. Moving on. We're going to be looking at the die. The stitch die collection. Now, we've got four different sets here of the stitch dies. What are stitch dies? I hear you cry if you're not familiar with them. Stitch dies, very straightforward. They are your normal dies. They're nested dies. Now, these come with cutting blades and you can use them without the cutting blades as well. What does that mean? Well, that means that when you're die cutting these, you can create just an aperture in your card if you want to, um, or you can cut out in its entirety the design. But they leave behind this sort of stitched effect on the card. That's why they are stitched dies. So have a little look through these for you. Now it's worth noting uh, that these are normally, what, 30, 39.96 and normally just short of 40 pounds. That's good. So we're saving seven pounds this morning. Seven pounds this morning. And don't forget, we're already, these are already popular. We're already bringing you popular items the last couple of days. Let's have a quick look through and see the different ones that we get. Uh, in actual fact, there we go. There we go. Um, Adam's already a step ahead of me, Director Adam there. There we go. So you can see here, I took the liberty of just cutting some of these out this morning just to show you uh, some of the different uh, bits that you can create. And this is actually the die uh, collection itself. So great, can be used of course here as sunflowers, um, but could be used for any, any sort of uh, range of different things. Really nice. And I'm gonna take out here, so you can have a look, the actual dies. I've really clumsily opened these this morning. There we go. So these are the actual dies that you're getting. And if I just lift these off of here, there we go. You can see this is the cutting edge, you see? So if you don't use that, then, and you use the die itself, it cuts an aperture out of the card. You experienced die cutters, you'll know that already, obviously. But in other words, you don't have to cut these out in their entirety. You can just cut out the designer's and aperture into the card. So we've got one, two, there's another cutting edge there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're getting an eight set, there we go. And you can see what we are cutting out of here. There we go. Now you're getting four different sets. So you're getting the circles. Let me just pop these back in. I'm quite enjoying this, putting these back together. There we go. There we go. There we go. So you're getting the circles, not the circles, they're sort of the sun, suns. You're getting as well the rectangles. You're also getting as well the squares and you're also getting the ovals. So you're actually getting all four sets for 32.99. All four sets for 32. 99 is the price that you're getting all four of those all four of those so you're getting the ovals the squares the rectangles and the circles which could be used as uh, adam quite rightly points out you could make some great rosettes and stuff out of these actually couldn't you there's all sorts of fantastic things that you could do with these really nice 
really nice. Brilliant. So there you go. Get those in your basket. Don't forget to get them checked out. Putting it in your basket, you see, doesn't assure that you'll get those. You do need to make sure that you uh, check it out. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let me move these to one side. I'm just going to very quickly just pop those back on here so I don't lose anything. Don't lose anything. There we go. Okay, so moving on. Pop those over there. I shall lose all of those otherwise if we're not careful. Right, moving on. What are we looking at now, Ellie? Oh, the big bundle of paints. Now, I've been looking forward to these, the big bundle. You're getting a lot of paints in there. Now, remember we talked a little bit earlier about new craft, new hobby. If you want to start a new hobby and, you know, you want to get a good uh, have a go, not spend too much money and have a go, just think about getting the canvases, getting the paints to go with them. $14.99 is going to get you all of these. This is not per set. So you're getting the black, the silk. The uh, black, silver, brown, in this purple, white, green, pink, orange, red, and yellow. So you're getting that whole set in there for $14.99. Now, maybe you want to have a, a go at a, a new craft. Maybe you've never had a go before and you're thinking, well, I want to do it cost effectively. If you were to get those and the canvases to, uh, together, that's that 25 quid if you get them all in. Ideal. Uh, really, really good indeed for getting to having a go. That's incredible. That's just £1.20 a bottle. You might want to have a go. You might have some kids, grandkids you want to uh, use them with. Uh, all sorts of different things you can do with those. But £14.99 is the price. And you're getting three, six. Are we getting 10 or 12? Oh, we're getting 12. So actually, I haven't got them all here because we've got three, six, 10 on here. There's two more. There should be two more. But there you go. So you're getting 12, 12 of the paints, not the 10 that I've got there. 14.99. That's incredible. Really, really good indeed. Okay. Um, I wanted to mention as well that we've got the little blending sponge on here too. So if you're having a go at doing, uh, doing new craft, we've got the little blending sponge. And that's only a quid. So you might as well chuck that in as well. There we go. And that's for using with your paints. We can use it for other stuff as well, if you wanted. Brilliant. Just a pound. Just a pound. Now, going back to some craft essentials, you will notice that Hobbymaker are bringing more and more craft essentials to you under the Hobby Maker brand. So just check out the website, make sure you find the items on there. These have been really, really popular. The set of three, the set of three um, scissors. Now, you might want to use them for different things. You might use them for fussy cutting, so you want to use different sizes on there. Um, there's all sorts of things, but you might want to use some for sewing, you might want to use some for paper, uh, for, for paper uh, craft as well. The sizes that you've got are five, six, or eight inches. So you're getting the selection in there. Three pieces in there. Now these are normally, I should point out, $24.99. That is the usual price. And these are superb quality. You've got in here sort of the internal rubber grip there as well, making them really, really comfortable to hold, especially if you're going to be using them for a long period of time. Um, and to get the set of three for $9.99 is a cracking price. It is no wonder that these have been so popular on previous shows. And watch this space, because we're gonna be bringing you more and more craft essentials uh, from Hobby Maker directly. And this is just one, really, really popular indeed. They're a very, very good quality scissor. They're multi-purpose scissors. You're getting, again, you're getting five, eight, uh, or it's five, uh, 5.6, 8.5, or sorry, or 9.2 inches. There we go. $9.99. Fantastic. There we go. So with your scissors, you will be doing some paper crafting, I'm sure. And if you are a paper crafter, I'm sure you will be familiar with the uh, American Crafts brand. And it's been hugely, hugely popular uh, since American Crafts have joined us here at Hobby Maker. And this is just one of the really, really popular items that they have brought us. This is a marathon runner. 
This is the Marathon Runner by Sticky Thumb. Now, what you're getting on here is you're getting the dispenser and you're getting in there, obviously, a full reel as well of the uh, Marathon Runner. So what is the Marathon Runner? It is essentially a tape pen, but you, it's the reason it's called a Marathon Runner. There's two good things about this. One is you're getting a lot on the reel. I'll tell you how much you're getting on here. You're getting 100 feet on here. 100 feet. So 100 feet is 33 meters. Or 30 meters. There we go, about 30 meters. I was talking to um, producer Ellie about this this morning. If you're not sure how much that is, a, a normal house from its up to the pointy bit on the roof for a two-story house is 30 feet. 30 feet. And on here is 100 feet. It's 100 feet. So that's one of the reasons it's called a marathon runner. The other reason is the size of it. One of the things I love about the American Crafts uh, brand is that they put a lot of thought into not just the product, but the user. So if you've got dexterity issues or anything like that, um, it's really, really easy to hold. You don't need such a tight grip on this. So that's one of the reasons these are very, very popular. They're a really, really good palm-sized, um, really, really good palm-sized adhesive reel. There we go. So the Sticky Thumb Marathon Runner is 100 feet. There we go. $12.99 is the price. But there's also, if you've already got the Marathon Runner, there's also the refill as well. So if you want to get your hands on the refill that goes inside the Marathon Runner, because this has the outer casing, uh, you can get your hands on that as well. And you'll see that's $12.99 as well. And that is the refill. And on there again, you're getting 100 feet. A hundred feet. There we go. So there's a lot in there. Twelve ninety nine for the refill. Get your hands on those. And then we've also got glossy accents as well. So this has been really, really popular. Um, so the glossy accents, it comes in this little um, in this little squeezy bottle with the nozzle on. Now this is really, really good, as it says on the tin, for accenting some of your crafty makes. Um, you might want to use it. It's, it dries clear, by the way. Um, it gives you sort of a 3D effect. Uh, it's really, really good for magnifying objects on paper crafts. It's good for mixed media. Good for home decor projects as well. And it creates sort of a, a glossy effect. So you can use it over stamped Im images as well. Um, and it can be used as an adhesive as well for lightweight objects. So that's really, really useful indeed. Glossy accents, there we go, 691 is the price. 691 is the price. We're bringing you loads of essentials this morning. We're bringing you loads of essentials this morning. We've brought you the sticky thumb marathon runners. We've brought you the scissors. We've brought you um, the glossy accents. Lots and lots of craft essentials here this morning. There we go. And before we go any further, I'm just going to take you back because they've been really, really popular this morning to the big paint bundle, the big paint bundle, which is over here. So we're getting in here 12 bottles. We've just got 10 here at the moment, but you're actually receiving 12. There we go. $14.99 is the price. And you're getting just some of the colours, black, silver, brown, purple, white, green, pink, orange, red and yellow. Now, these should be just short of 20 quid. They should be getting on for 20 quid. But today, 14.99 is your price. That works out to what, £1.20 a bottle? So very, very good price indeed. 14.99 to start a new hobby, if you've not, used to, if you've not done paintings before, and you to get those with the canvases, which are what, 10 quid for five? For 25 quid, you could be starting a brand new hobby. Have a go at painting. Maybe it's something you've not done before. Maybe you're thinking, Do you know, I've always fancied having a go at that, but I don't want to spend lots of money on the kit. 
is the price for the paints. And get your hands on the canvases as well. Get them, get them as well. That's what I would suggest. And have a go. And have a go. Wow. We've gone through a lot this morning already. We've gone through a lot in the last 45 minutes. We've covered paint. We've covered MDF boxes. We've covered canvases. Marathon runners. Miri cards. Scissors. Dies. Pa paper storage. All sorts of different stuff. If you've missed anything that we've shown you already on the show this morning, don't forget to head over to the website, check on Watch Live, just click that, and all the items on the show this morning are below. But the second hour from seven until eight, which is our Hobby Make Highlight Hour, we have got so much stuff to get through on the show, we're going to pop over there early. So stay tuned, grab a cup of coffee, and we will see you after this. <laughs> It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those new year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobby Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. <laughs> Hey, very, very good morning to you and welcome back if you've uh, just come back to us. I'm with, of course, the delectable Debbie Moore. Good morning, Brian. How are you? Mm -hmm. Very well, very bright and breezy. Yes. Haven't had coffee. The trick is bananas. Bananas? Yes. Oh, Give full of folic energy. acid and all the rest yes. of it. Yeah, very, very good indeed. I don't think it is the bananas, though, I'll be honest. I think it's <laughs> the bright pink that you're wearing. 
Ta -da! Fantastic. And we kind of go because I've got a bit of grey and yeah, pink in there. Pink. Well, you and have you've to got be pink. bright. You've got to be bright in the mornings, haven't you? You've got <laughs> to be course, bright yeah. and breezy. Bright and breezy. Now, we've come to you early because I we know. normally start Harvey Make Highlights at seven. Yes. But we thought we need to come to you early because we have got so much coming up there on the There is show. a lot on the show. Well, you know what I'm like. I like to jam pack it with loads of ideas and inspiration. That's fantastic. We saw Debbie was ready and we thought we've got a lot of Debbie stuff to get through, a lot to get through. So that we'll get Get in there early yes. and uh, and show you because we wanted we don't want to get to that point where we run out of time. Oh no, we should get a bit more time. So we've stuck an extra bit of time on, so that's really good. So Debbie Moore from Debbie Moore Designs is back, of course. You're a bit of a regular here now, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I think I was here ten days ago, yeah. and I am back here in ten days. Another so ten like days, like a pattern, but not really a pattern because it's just how it's worked out. That's brilliant. <laughs> but and no, I'm really excited to be coming to Hobby Maker quite uh, often now. So we're bringing loads of new launches and. And this is one of the things people ask me all the time. Yes. Is I'm stuck for ideas yes. for the men in my life. Okay. Okay. So oh. this first item that we're looking at is jam packed full of inspiration ideas. Fantastic. So we're going to have a little look through that. But if you want to shop ahead, don't think you can do that. Head over to the website, hobbymaker.co.uk, click on Watch Live, scroll down, and you'll see everything that's coming up on the show today. Uh, it will be available for you to pop in your basket and check out, because we've got some different items from Debbie we coming do. up in the, uh, in the hour, so that's really good. But first of all, let's talk about the magazine, Debbie. What are we getting? So you're actually going to get £40 worth of goodies. Wow. Uh, I mean, it is jam-packed, and it's at a special price as well. Yes. So in here, you are going to get the stencil, which is normally £10. Pounds, yes. Like 99, I should say. Mm -hmm. Then you're actually getting a full collection that you're going to get as a digital download that's worth 14.99. Wow. And then you've got right at the bottom that you can actually see along there. You are getting now that's just a little bit, okay? Because I couldn't, I did run out of room. You are getting <laughs> 40, a selection of 40 pull-out papers. Okay. And that gives you look at the variety for the men in your life, from uh, trains to cars to even um, you've got like little if you're going down the pub or you yes. want to send a card for that from fishing it really is a mix and you've got the backing papers as well as what we call the design sheet so it's a jam-packed and with the actual magazine itself you've got the stencil that we mentioned mm -hmm. and we've got some projects that we're going to go through in that but mm -hmm. with the stencil don't forget you can use it with your inks your paste and even embossing and we're going to try and squeeze that in in the next well in the proper hour. <laughs> in the proper hour. We love it. We love it. And it's worth mentioning as well that, of course, the papers that come in the magazine, they are, of course, double-sided. Yes. Yeah, so that's what I mean. I haven't... You can't see the selection of 40, OK? So you're going yeah. to get the pull-out sheet. So as you can see, you've got two different designs to choose from. I always like to, you know, jam-pack it with ideas. So you can choose which colourway, which ones you want, and they're the same with all of them. And, the, and for anybody starting, or you've got somebody that wants to get into crafting, this is a really good way, because it's got the instructions in there, you've got the finished pictures on there, and it shows you step-by-step -step instructions how to create these fibreless cards. Fantastic. Should have a very quick flick through the magazine as well, while we've got it here. So you're getting the stencil in there as well. I like I like the fact that you've got the projects, I like the fact it's step by step, but a lot of people, as you said, use them as um, inspiration. Yes, they do. So it Don't becomes they? like a reference. You can pull out the actual pages because the pages are actually in the inside of the book. I show you what's up, uh, the up to date products. I give you some techniques in there. You've got some inspirational ideas for you to enjoy. But then if you keep on going, there you go. There's the middle papers that you saw uh, that we've got sprayed out for you. Brilliant. Now remember, they are designed for you to actually, I mean, you'll find that you've got more toppers than you need. Need. Okay, so, so they're going to go a long way. Yeah, so for example, there might be a design sheet with one topper, but I might have, uh, sorry, a card with one topper, but I'll have a design sheet with three toppers on. Brilliant. So you know that you're going to get more with the magazine. And for that amazing price, to get £40 worth of products is a must. That's fantastic. It's 9 99 because normally, it's normally 12 99 yes. which is already a good price. Yes considering that you're getting all the extras in there as well. So I'm loving that you're getting the craft papers, you're getting the stencil, you're getting the inspiration in there as well. Lots yes. and lots in there. I love it. Now, with the, th with the other collection that we haven't mentioned, because I like dimension, there yes. is, and I know that you had a go recently, there's a selection of slider cards Oh, in there. like a slider card. So right at the back, so if I just show you which section it is. Yeah. 
So I'm just going to turn it over because it has the code in there. Okay. So you can see that you can create, and I'll be showing you this later on this afternoon. Yes. Or you can watch your blog to see how it's done. Isn't yes, it you can. You can head over to the Hobby Maker Hub and catch Ben's big crafting adventure, <laughs> which is the blog that we've been doing, the video blog of me having a go at stuff. And actually, we've done a slider card show, which is not aired just oh, yet. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. No, we've got the other one, but that's not aired just yet. But there's, uh, we have a go together, don't we? We do. So it's and just... it's gnome-tastic. That's, that's, the that's the clue I'll give you. There. Fantastic. So you've got a couple of samples here of some of the cards that you've made as well from some of the bits from the magazine. So it's just showing you. I've just pulled them out here. So mm. if I just put this down a second, you can yeah. see that you're going to get... And yes, they are double-sided. So yes. you, if I turn them over that way, you can see you've got more selections of paper. But as you can see on here, this has got quite a few toppers on and what I like about it is all these little what we call tabs so you can create for your uh, license plate and what we've done is use the elements on there to create this card so with this is showing you this is one of the instructions on there you've got that facility but if you didn't want to put that sentiment you can change it and it's the same with on your side as well it's showing you how just taking two sheets of paper yes and the magazine is showing you a layout and also when it comes to designing mm. uh, you'll find that you've got i love bunting i was just look that's why i just had a little lean over today you've actually fussy cut the bunting out there. yeah so the bunting I is actually that. a backing paper oh. so there's a backing paper just down in one of the papers you'll be able to see there it is okay. right at the bottom Oh, yes, yes. I got them. So there what I've done go. is shown you how you can actually use your papers. A lot of people don't realise that you've got embellishments already in the papers. And as yes. a designer, you know, when I was designing this collection, I was like, I need bunting on backing papers. And that yes. way you can use it twofold. Yes. You can use it as a backing paper, but fussy cut it out. Uh, which, if you never heard that expression before, it literally means cutting round it. And you can create the most gorgeous embellishments by looking at the papers. And on your side, mm -hmm. it's showing you two of the sheets. Yes. Okay, with the green colour palette. Uh -huh. uh, so you can see how much is on a design sheet. I mean, I fill it. Yes. And then obviously on the back, you've got all the paper choices. Uh, but in the magazine, you'll see that lovely finished card so it's showing you showing you to use those two sheets yes I really really like these indeed and it's funny you know a lot of people do say don't they you know oh you know is is there enough uh you know design ideas out there for chaps you know yeah. that's that's anything beyond the usual yes and often you know I think people do struggle to find something on, on that basis they or you do. end up with the same sort of things but here you know, you've really <laughs> thought about that. I love the mini with the uni jack. It doesn't have to be, of course, for chaps, um, but it can be. And I love the design. It's not sort of, you know, sometimes you see these very old fashioned designs in terms of things like the fishing and so on. Yes. You've not got that here. So that is a very, very modern... uh, vintage feel to it. Yes, but, it's... but the artwork itself. No, I mean, that one, uh, we've tried to do different layouts with that. Yes. Now, if you look in the front cover of the magazine, I'm going to be doing this um, in the seven o'clock. Mm. It's showing you how you can use the Bunton again to create that celebration using that camper van. That's brilliant. And one of the things I love about Debbie Moore Designs as well is, and I think I've probably said this before when we've looked at the USB sticks and so on, is that um, you tend to come up with designs that can be multi-colour uh, multi ways, yes. so to speak. And you've done that, of course, with this as well, because you've got the Union Jack in various colours. You've Definitely. got the bunting, same bunting, different colour variations. Exactly. Now, if you think, right, I really like this selection, I wish there was more, yes. there is, because yes. we have on the show the USB key, the new colour. Cards for Men, Volume 2 USB key. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. Well, don't forget, if you want to get your hands on Debbie's Inspiration to You um, magazine, you can do that. $9.99 is the price. $9.99 is the price. If you want to get your hands on that, get that in your basket now. It's already proving to be very, very popular indeed. And it's no surprise. No surprise. Again, magazines in there. Good for the freebies. You get some freebies in there. You're getting the stencil in there. You're getting the, you're getting the papers in there as well. You're getting the step-by-step -step guide yes. as well. And and 
fantastic, as it says in the title, Debbie, for <laughs> inspiration. It is. I mean, with that, we've been writing the magazine now about, oh my goodness, about 11 years. Wow. Uh, and so what we always try to do is give you various inspiration and techniques change as the yes. years go around. You know, a lot of people haven't tried doing it with the inks, having to go with the distress inks. Mm. Uh, I mean, we are going to be demonstrating that in the show as well. But it's also, that's why you've got the stencil. So yes. if you are new to crafting or you know somebody or you're looking for some ideas for the men in your life, that magazine or this show is being designed around it. Fantastic. We like the sound of that. We like the sound of that. So the magazine isn't the only thing, of course, that you've brought to the, uh, the show today. We've got lots and lots going on. And, as always, one of your very famous and popular USBs. It is. I do like a USB key because you get so much on here. I yes. mean, you get over a thousand printable elements on this USB key. And what I've tried to do with this is give you, we'll have a look later on in the show, but you have such a variety of elements on here and the different colorways. And as you can see, it is volume two, okay, because we have brought out previously volume one. I think you can check it's on a digital digital, uh, I think I'd have to double check, but I'm sure volume one is on as a digital download as well. Yes. Um, but we'll look at that later on. But as you can see on the, with the USB key, you are going to get over a thousand printable elements and it's continuing the magazine. So if you like what you see with the magazine, that's a great thing to get that one mm. and to put this into your basket because this continues the variety and as I said you get over a thousand printable elements. That's fantastic and once you've got your inspiration from the magazine and you want to keep creating because ultimately you're going to use up your craft papers that are in the magazine. Yes. So ultimately having the two together works really the magazine well. itself never runs out of ideas, inspiration, uh, tutorials that never runs out but the USB gives you 24 hour access yes. to all the craft papers that you want. And then when we come to look at it, you'll be able to see that you can actually change the sizes. Yes. And as you grow as a crafter in digital crafting, for example, you'll learn that you can then put it into other graphic packages. Yes. You can do so much with it. Yes. And this is why a lot of people are tending to use USB keys because card kits are brilliant. Yes. Okay. And we've got the papers in the magazine and we've got some of the card kits coming, in, uh, coming up. Yes. But it only gives you a variety. On the USB key, you've got inserts, you've got envelopes, yes. you've got boxes. You've got extra elements to make that collection that wow factor. And I think also, I think most crafters, you know, they'll get a craft craft selection uh, of papers or whatever it is, and they'll always have the one that they use more than the others. Yes. And you can run out very quickly. You don't have to worry about that. And no. also, you've got control not just of the size, uh, and not just of the size, but also the quality of the cardstock that it's printed on as well. Yes. So you might want to create tags with the images. You might want to create large. large elements cards yes. with the images, banners, all sorts of stuff. And you can do that with these. You cards. can do that with a USB kit. And don't forget the work with P PC, Mac and Linux and even right. the new Windows 11 because lots of people always ask me that. We've designed it that has a JPEGs and PDFs, which means that whatever program you're working with, you'll be fine. Brilliant. But we also have a helpline. That's fantastic. Let's have a little look oh, through yes. and see what we get on this stick. So just remind us, this is the classic card stick, but it's volume Two, isn't yes, it? this is volume two, and this is the physical one. So you are getting it um, at, you'll get the physical USB key and the packaging sent to you. You can get it, check it out later. You can get the digital option of this as a download. Okay. Um, so as you can see on there, you've got design sheets, you've got papers, you've got envelopes, inserts, and you've also got bows, toppers, dimensional cards, decoupage, scenes, bags and boxes, embellishments, papers, uh, and also those projects on there. But if you click on, for example, the projects, projects is one that I always recommend that you should go first of all. Mm -hmm. So by clicking on the projects, so oh, we're going down there, there we go. You can see if you go into the gallery, this is where you get the ideas. So the gallery is the button just at the bottom down there in the middle. And this will load up ideas. So if you're new to paper crafting, look, here's some ideas for you. Uh -huh. So we'll go through them and you can see that you got um, really ideas. So as you scroll down, there's loads of inspiration. you showing you layouts on how to put together. Um, and with the collection itself, it shows you how to put them together. So there's this card that we've just shown you yes. from the magazine. So you can see that the actual variety 
it, the elements are from the USB key. Now there's loads on here. We could be here for ages. So what we'll do, oh, the other thing to let you know is don't you, don't you think it's cards, you've got them as a canvas. Brilliant. So that is a project actually in the magazine that yes. we can talk about it. So it's not just about card making. You've got all, all sort of canvases and mixed media that you can use with a USB key. And that means you can use it, of course, with your existing crafty stash as well. Exactly. So yeah. you've got those options on there. Now, if we are going to, to actually come out of that, if you click on the X at the yep. top, okay. we're going to jump over to design sheets. Yes. And I love the darts one, by the way. Yeah, well, we're, that will really be a topper cool. one as well. So yeah, if you click on, for example, the camper van mm. at the bottom there, yes. while clicking on it, a design sheet will come up. And as you can see, that's one is jam packed. Another yes. one with the toppers. Now, if anybody's got any nesting dies, mm -hmm. they will work with those. Ah, uh, yes, yes. OK, now we do have some on the show, but we don't have the circles and the sunbursts on the show. But what we have on the show, it is the arch frame. And the squares. Uh, and, the, uh, and the square. And there yes. will be, oh, sorry, yes, look at that one. That is a square. So yes. you could use the nesting die that, with that yeah. as well. So the idea behind these collections is you could just cut them out. Yes as you go or you can if you've got any of my na uh, match it nesting dies they will actually work on the sheets and that's something as well that i really really love about the design work that you do debbie is that you come up with these fantastic multicolored variations <laughs> of uh, endless amounts of artwork and you design them so that they fit the dies and the dies fit the artwork. Yes, and the other thing, for remember... It's ongoing as well, not It is ongoing. No, 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 it's, it's ongoing. But obviously, it's a variety. We yes. have a whole selection of nesting dies that yes. we've brought to you over the last few months. Yes. And the idea is they can be used as a standalone. Now, we're going to come out of this one because okay. I want to show you the backing page. Oh, we're going to go to the next page. Yes. So we go to the next page at the bottom and it goes very quickly on to showing you the variety of those. When you go into that, you'll see the different colorways. Uh, yeah. There's the dart one, if you want to click on the dart one. Yes. And what will come up is um, for you to actually make a 3D project. I think that's really, so really clever. Really clever. you have got the dart board, and yeah. then you've got the doors to make the actual, um, like, a, it's actually a gatefold card. Yes. And it's great for Father's Day or just for general birthdays. Now, if you cancel that one, and we're going to have a look at some other artwork of some other designs, and go to the next page. Because the, the design sheets give you the core lines, the core designs. Mm. And then you've got the fishing one, then you keep on going. And then we go to the football one at the bottom, for example. So you can see that you've got a variety of designs for you to enjoy. And the, as you can see, you've got the tabs that you can lay them up. Mm -hmm. So from cricket to football. Now, if you want to print this off, all you need to do is click on the top right hand side, mm -hmm. click on there, and what will come up is your print preview. There you go. Mm -hmm. And you would print this off. That's how easy it is. But we're going to click on cancel and then we're going to go to the backing papers. OK. And there's the papers just on there on the second tab down. So we click on the papers. Number two. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's part of the, the papers on the desk. That's it. That's Number it. two. Yeah, two. Yeah, there yeah. you go. And then if we just click on the bottom, you can see the variety. They click on the next tab through. And it's just showing you that you've got so much on here. So you can use all these mm. designs with all your crafty stash. Yes. Because you will always need a gingham. You'll always need the, the background on yes. there from the cogs. So this is giving you hundreds and hundreds of printable elements. There's still more. These are all backing papers, everybody. Yeah. Uh, keep on going until you come. And there's the bunting one. Oh, so yeah. just choose one of them. And that's what I was talking about, the different colorways yeah. of the same sort of bunting design. Exactly. Brilliant. And these ones, you can have the vintage feel so you can yes. use them booking as well as card making so we've just looked at two so well actually looked at three sections on here yeah. and it's just showing you a little snapshot of what yes. you've got on here now remember if anybody's watching who wants a digital option check out the website because we have got it where you would send it via email yes so remember with regard to the digital if you're ordering the digital yes. you'll actually get an email sent with the link right and i think you get charged pmp and then you get a refund if that's the only thing you order isn't it yes that's right so you do need to be aware of that and we do always like to try and point out to viewers at home before anybody then messages us yes anything that is a digital download our system automatically charges everybody pmp on their first 
purchase of the day. Now, if it's a digital download, we're not actually posting anything. Do not panic. You don't need to contact us. We will automatically refund mm -hmm. the postage. Unfortunately, the way the system works is automatically charge you the postage the first time. Don't worry. We will refund it to you. You don't need to, to, to ask us. So, no. So, that's why there's a... A difference in price because you're not going to get the physical product. You yes. are getting a link, an email, and the girls will send it out to you within 72 hours. Brilliant. Okay. Um, obviously, with the exception is, so the girls will not be in the office tomorrow, so they'll be in on Monday. Yes. And then if you order the digital download today, they will email it on Monday, yes. and then you'll get crafting straight away because you will have it. You'll be yes. able to download it. It works exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. Yeah. The only difference is you are not getting the physical the actual USB, USB key stick. in the yeah. packaging yeah. like you've just seen there. And that's ideal because at the moment as well with the post, we don't know what the post is like. Yes. There's a lot going on with the post office at the moment, the raw mail at the moment. So this is a great way to know you're going to get it quickly. Yes, most definitely. And with the actual collections, whether you're going for the USB key or the digital don't forget the magazine is a good reference library to have yes and so in the magazine you have a starting point yes that's brilliant and the digital download as well essentially because you're saving the 395 on the postage yes i mean that's four pounds that you're saving straight away yes just on the postage. i think you save is it seven pound i think um is it 9.99? Yes. Yes. So you are saving a chunk also yes. by not getting the physical item. So the one with the key was... I think it was 17.99. 17.99. Yes. So the one with the key, 17.99. Yes. The one, the digital download, you're saving the extra £7. Yes. £7? Pounds, £7. Pounds, and you're saving the postage. So yes. You save a tenner. Really? So, so, so essentially, yeah. if you don't want the physical USB key, you'll yeah. save £10. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's brilliant. Uh, we like that a lot. So, um, obviously, we've talked a little, a little bit about what we've got. You've just given us a brief snapshot, Debbie, of what's yes. on the USB key. But we would love to see, in actual fact, what we're getting okay. and, uh, and to have a go. Can we do that? So, are we, do, are we doing the cards form of the magazine first, using it? Yes, yes. please. Let's nip Let's over. Let's do that, then. Let's, do, Let's that. do that. While Debbie pops over there and gets ready, just a quick reminder, of course, that you are, of course, watching Wake Up With Hobby Maker. It's the Hobby Maker Highlight Show with Debbie Moore from Debbie Moore Designs. We've already talked to you about the magazine that we've got on the show, which we talked right at the top of the show. That's the Inspiration To You magazine. Remember, in there, in there, it's normally, first of all, by the way, $12.99. It's $9.99 on the show today. In there, you're getting £40 worth of goodies, really, in there. Because what you're getting in there is you're getting the magazine itself, you're getting the stencils, you're also getting, as well, uh, the papers in there as well. There's all sorts of different things that you are getting as part of the magazine price. And in there, it is cram-packed with uh, inspiration, projects, craft papers. It's got the stencil. Everything ready ready to go just 9.99 just 9.99 is the price don't forget get that in your basket really quickly because we don't have loads and loads and loads of the magazines we're able to bring them to you at such a great price for that reason don't forget get them in your basket get checked out we've also talked to you as well about the usb key if you've only just joined us um, have a little look at that everything that's on the show today is on the website under pre-order so check that out we're going to show you a little bit more about the usb key a little bit later you've just had a little taste of that so debbie is going to be doing some uh, demonstrations for us we've got a few uh, planned in today to get in in the next 45 minutes so we need to get cracking we need to get cracking. So I'm going to try and squeeze in um, an embossing demo, but Brilliant. I think I've just asked somebody for some mirror card oh, okay, to yes. get me a sheet. Yes. So, but before we do that, we're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to do some of the techniques that are on here. Okay. So if we have a look at our, so I'm actually looking at the um, classic cards. The, I was talking about the one that's on the front cover. I love this card because it gives it something, a different uh, effects that you've got on here. So this is called an accordion card. And the beauty about it, it has all the measurements on here. Okay, so as you go through this, okay, what I want to do is, because we have some craft card on the show today. Yes. So all you need to do is, this is how the magazine's designed. It says, if I just bring my sheet through, mm -hmm. put it there. 
So all I'm doing it is I'm using a paper trimmer. So you can use a paper trimmer as a guide mm -hmm. or you can use a scoreboard and a pencil and ruler. And all I'm doing is it says score at four centimetres. So all I'm doing is getting my card and using the channel and scoring at four centimetres like so. Now remember, you can do this with a ruler and a pencil and a scoreboard. Then it says score eight. Because everything's done for you, everybody, you can create these different dimensional cards in minutes. And then you actually says it goes to 13, like so. And then the last one is his 19.5. And then I go to 19.5 and there we go. So what I've got so far, I fold in, out, in, out, like so. So as you can see, it is the accordion shape, mm -hmm. and that is from the first bit. But then it says that you need to trim down to 13 centimetres. There we go. So if I go to 13 centimetres on my second one, and then it says create a tab of two and a half. So you can see that I've all I've done is followed the instructions. So I just wanted to show you in real time how easy it is to create a shape card by following the instructions. Now this literally goes on here and it creates, there's your shape card, oh, yeah. and it goes completely flat. So I'm just gonna fix that with some adhesive. And that's it, that's how easy it is. That's really easy. I love as well the paper trimmer because you, I noticed you didn't only just trim with that, you used it as well for your scoring. I use, that's one of my techniques. I do that all the time. Brilliant. I will be bringing some paper trimmers to you later on this year. Oh yes, that's good because I had a go with that paper trimmer and I really liked it. So, I mean, you can do all kinds of shapes with the paper trimmer, but if you haven't got a paper trimmer, by following the ruler and pencil, look how easy that was wow. to create. So that is the card mm -hmm. that is in the magazine itself. Okay. And then it's all about putting it together, everybody. So we have got, and I wanted to show you the difference. In the magazine, I've just lost it there, there we go. The papers, when you get them, are edge to edge, and you can see that I've just been cutting them out like so. And you've got them all in here, and even these ones, are, as you can see, are edge to edge. So you've got the double-sided ones. Mm -hmm. When you print off from your USB key, you've got these elements. If I just show you a full sheet, you can see that you are going to print off with a white edge. Yes. That's normal. And it gives you, and the quality is exactly the same. Yes. You're not going to lose the quality no. by printing onto, uh, from your USB key onto any paper. And what I've done here, is this is printed onto, um, what's this one? This one's printed onto normal paper, copy paper. Yes. But I printed this. This is on our coated paper that we yes. have. I think it's on the website. We've got glossy and tissue paper on the website. Yes. So you've got those options on so there. So that's the glossy, is it, that one? Yes. So you've got the options on there. And we use that one because that's the paper that we also use in the magazine. That's a, that makes a big difference, Debbie. It does, doesn't printing it? Printing on that. I can see even from here um, in real life, I can see the difference between printing on that and the copy paper. Makes a big difference. It, it certainly does. I mean, the thing, it gives like a little bit of a shine. It gives yeah. you, um, so I like a coated, I like shiny things. I'm yes. like a magpie. <laughs> anything glittery, shiny, I Well, I didn't want to say anything. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to use the stencil. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just using some Distress Ink. I'm using Stormy Sky. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to just put, um, let's move this over here. I'm just going to put a white piece of card underneath because I tend to guess it all, ink all over my, my little mat. <laughs> okay, so this is the free stencil that comes with the magazine, everybody. We do have other stencils on the show, which we'll have a look later. And all I'm doing is, you can use a blender or you can use a brush, mm -hmm. is tap the ink. Mm -hmm. And what I like to do is tap off the excess. Yeah. And then I like to simply just circular motions. Okay. And all you need to do is just decide how much ink you want. And I'm adding, let's move that over here. There you go. I don't think you've had a go at inking yet, have you? I haven't, not yet. Not yet, we've done some, we've made slider card. We we've have. We've made uh, a decoupage card. Yep. I've done some die cutting and I've done some stamping. 
just uh, masked stamping on Ben's Big Crafting Adventure blog. So keep an eye out for that. But no, I've not done any blending yet. So this is using the Distress Ink. And I'm so just rubbing up. circular motion there, is that? Yes. Um, that just as you can see. So now as you can oh, see, yeah. look what I've done. Yes. So you can go back onto it. It doesn't have to be exactly the same place because it's given a vintage look. Yes. And this is one of the techniques in the magazine. We talk about different effects that you can actually do. And I am just adding a little bit of ink as I go. So you can see how I'm changing yes. the look of the paper. And it is fun because you become like a designer. Yes. I mean, this is the cogs that's to go with the collection, but it has a feel of steampunk as well. Oh, yes. So you've got that option as well. Doesn't so it, yeah. I'm going to now start putting everything together onto my card. Now, remember, everything's all in the magazine. So except for the ink, but you don't necessarily have to do that with the ink. So what I'm doing is trimming it down. Now, when it comes to back in I always like to have a little edge so what I'm doing is taking my pencil and I am wanting a strip of this so this is going to go in here so all I want to do is make sure I've got the right size so I'm just making a little mark like so and then one like that mm -hmm. so that's telling me my where I want to do I should have in a, actually in essence I should have just gone down the side and would have made my life easier <laughs> but I haven't so I'm just going to have that like so and then what I'm doing, this gives me the width that I want. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to trim it down to fit the section that I want. So the section that I want is that one there. So that's going to go in there. So you can see that will fit. Oops, I need to trim a little bit more down. Like so. And then it'll start putting it together. Do you want to show the nostalgia card kit? I've got some samples there while yes, I'm putting absolutely. all this together. Yes, absolutely. There we go. Yes, we've got some samples here. Is that one from the nostalgia? Yep, they're all from the nostalgia. Brilliant. That you've actually Let's have a little flick through. So the nostalgia card kit is the one, of course, that's available on the USB or available as the download. So you can get it on either uh, the USB or you can get it as the download. If you get it as the USB, it's $14.99 um, plus, of course, P&P. Unless you've already ordered something on the show, in which case you only pay one P&P. So it should be $17.99. If you get it without the USB as the digital download, you can do that also. And that's going to cost you just $9.99. Please bear in mind that you do get charged the PMP when you first order it. That is something that we can't help that get, to get around our system. But we will refund you the PMP. You don't need to worry. That is something we will do automatically. There we go. And these are just some of the great designs that we've got uh, from the artwork on the USB. I can't believe, Debbie, how much you get. That is there. not on the USB key. That is that Forever Co, that Nostalgia card kit. Oh, I beg your pardon. So that's why I was confused. I'm like... Well, interrupted there, Debbie. <laughs> she was so, standing over me going, and I thought she's got, she wants to say something. I was just thinking that. Sorry. So that is a card kit. That's a Nostalgia card beg kit with pardon. a Forever Code. So we've got some samples that have been made with that. You are right. There's a couple of samples that have been made in conjunction. Oh, uh, that's key. what I'm getting confused But the about. majority, if you look at the card kit in front of you, yes. it is new card kit that is on for $14.99 with a Forever Code. Brilliant. Let's, should we have a quick flick through so we can see? There we go. All the information I provided to you about the USB stick, though, is uh, accurate. <laughs> there we go. So these are some of the papers that you are getting. Now, it is worth noting, there are lots and lots of elements on it, it's worth noting that we have obviously printed these off so that you can see these. Um, the backing papers on here do have a little border around them because yes. we printed them off just on our printer very quickly here to show you. But when you receive them, the They're edge to edge. They are edge to edge. So there are no borders on the backing papers. You will get them edge to edge. I just can't believe how many elements you get on here. You really, really cram the elements on there. I do. I am a crafter first and then a designer. So why do you want to buy a blank page? Yeah. <laughs> so I do try to actually fill it 
with loads and loads of inspiration and loads of ideas. Uh, so that's what you're going to get. I mean, uh, that card actually, you've got a card behind the stencils that we've used with the splat. That's that card, that topper. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's really, really good. I love that. My wife would like that card. And the splats that on there from the, the stencil. Wine. And the splats on there from the stencils, which are also uh, there, which I'll show you in a second. Oh, turn that right way up. So there is so much in oh, that collection. Wow. I yeah. can't believe how much you get on here. I mean, the stencils uh, that we have on today's show, we've got them on offer as well. I'll show you those. So these are the papers we were talking about. You will get them edge to edge. They won't have a border. It's just because we've printed them very quickly to flick through for you. There we go. Uh, so as Debbie said as well, the stencil is also on the show, which we we're just going to show you in a moment. I know, you're going through that kit. There is loads, isn't there? There's loads! And I can't believe how much you got on a single sheet. There is so much for you to enjoy. Absolutely loads on a single sheet. There we go. So that is the nostalgia card kit that we've talked to you about. That's the nostalgia card kit, but also the stencil, which uh, Debbie's mentioned as well. There it is, you can see it on the screen. So you're getting the splat stencil. Is that a te technical name for I it? I called it a splat. We called it a splat, didn't we, earlier? <laughs> You get the splat stencil, uh, and then oh, I've dropped that. Uh, and then you're also getting where is it over here? The button stencil as well. There they are. There they are. The price is about to come up on your screen, so you can use those in conjunction. And I'll show you as well very quickly the sample again. There, I'll bring it in this side so you can see it a bit better. You can see the splat stencil has been used on the card there, along with that paper, paper kit, card kit. Um, and I love that it's been used in this instance for drops of red wine. Yes. <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. $6.99 is your price. So $6.99, each of the stencils are $6.99. They are A5 in size. And you can use those in conjunction with a card kit. Yes, I mean, love that's it. what we put it on for. I love using stencils because I've just shown you how to use it with your ink in. So while you've been showing that, I've yes. been putting this card together. She's been busy, busy bee. I have been a busy bee. So this is one of the projects from the magazine. I mean, you get everything for you to enjoy, you know. And remember, if you want to then create it again, you can go for the USB key or the digital. Uh, when it comes to accordion cards, the top tip is always have it opposite. You don't want that behind there, so you can't see it. So mm -hmm. you're going to have this over here. That's going to go there. And then I have a sentiment. It was nice and tidy here. <laughs> Messed it all up. Um, I have a sentiment somewhere under here that I will find in a second. And Oh, there it is. And then I've got the bunting cut out. So I just want Brilliant. to show you how you actually do with the bunting and then I'll put it all together. Also, another top tip to give definition on your cards, tear little bits of paper off mm -hmm. to give more of a variety when it comes to put together. Yes. So I just want to show you how to put the bunting and now literally the bunting's going from like from there to there and it makes such a difference yes. by not having it on to putting it on and it's yes. such a simple technique. Yeah. And I've just been told which is correct, it gives it depth. Yes. Depth and dimension. So let me show you how easy it is to do that. So remember these are the bunting sheets that are available on uh, the USB key, but they're in the magazine. So I'm gonna cut this bit out just to show you very quickly. Now I'm using large scissors. Now Ben had some large scissors on today's show. I did. We well, not today's show, this morning. This morning, yes. So the reason why I always recommend large scissors is you can cut longer with yes. it. So I'm just gonna do this little section because obviously you have to have almost like a little section of, almost like string. So all I'm doing is leaving a little section on every image. Can you see like on either side? Uh -huh. And this is all you do. And you make your own paper embellishments. And then you, because you've got the USB key or the magazine, you've got them in the color tone that you need for your card. So you can mix and match again. You might have a little bit of uh, a few bits in your crafty stash. You think I could just do that within a slightly different color. And of course you've got that then in the other color. It's yes. funny actually just talking about the scissors. We were, um, when we were doing some cut, fussy cutting, 
I automatically went for the smaller scissors and you said to me, oh, you know, have a go with the smaller scissors, but try the bigger scissors because you yes. get better balance yeah. and much easier sometimes to fussy cut. And I don't know where she gets it from. She was right, you know. <laughs> she was right. And I ended up using the bigger scissors like you're using there. Yeah, I, I do have small scissors in my basic kit. Mm. But to be honest with you, everybody, I do like using large large scissors for two reasons. It's faster, it's quicker, and also it's comfortable. Mm. So you can put three in or two. Yes. And if I find my smaller scissors, there's some smaller scissors. And yes, before anybody asks, they are pink. You, you really, <laughs> you've got two in and they're fine, but I find it easier. Whatever anybody finds easy, go with it. But if you yes. haven't tried with smaller, sorry, with larger scissors, have a go. You will yes. be surprised how easy it is. Yes. So because I'm just doing this very quickly, okay. Um, I'm just using some foam pads to um, give dimension on to my, with my sentiments. Mm -hmm. We did sell out of these last time. I will be bringing it back um, in about 10 days or so. So What's that, you, sorry? The pricking tool. Oh, did we? Yes. I know that we, um, you brought them on the, one of our shows, didn't you? Yes. And I know they went really, really well. We sold out, did we? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And I always use mine now for taking the backs off the foam pads. I know. It is. They are handy to have. Brilliant. So all I'm doing, just very quickly, is showing you how I've just put a little bit of bunting over here, mm -hmm. and then it's going to go onto there. So you just need to use have an end bit so you can see straight away how it's put together. Mm -hmm. And then I can put another sentiment and put this on here. So I will actually finish this all off Yes. Uh, and show you in the next hour, but I think we need to show the box maker. I think we do. I've been looking forward to seeing this actually because I understand with the box maker, Debbie, you, we set you a bit of a challenge, is that right? Well, I've been taught, uh, yes. Last time I brought this uh, box maker, it sold out, and we did a challenge to make a box. Yes. And I think they put the one minute timer on twice because it took two minutes. Yes. It's essentially, um, when I find it all and all this, the box maker, uh, if you love boxes or you need boxes, I would go for it because you can't make a box in a few minutes. Now, if I, under all my papers, it's amazing, this was all tidy before. <laughs> there we go, found it. There it is. Right, okay, so I will do that later, everybody. Okay. So when it comes to the box maker, you get instructions, you've got the instructions, I haven't have. you? So everything comes with it, it is so easy. You will, be you will be so surprised how easy it is. But all you need to make sure you do is you have two pieces of card, the same width. So I need to trim this down. Mm -hmm. Let me get an A4 piece of craft card. So does it matter this. how big the bit of card is to start with? No, it doesn't, as long as it's the same. Could I have, could you just pass me two pieces of craft card? Please? Yes, I can. Thank you. There we go. So as long as you have two pieces the same, uh -huh. okay, and what we're going to do is we're gonna make a, to fit an A6 card. So let's do one for this. So as long as you have two pieces of card, whether it's square or whether it is rectangle, mm -hmm. Or whatever size it is, it doesn't matter. So get your two pieces of card. Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure I've got it in the center. And we're going to start once I've got my two pieces of card, okay? So you're prepping first. I am prepping And I love first. the fact as well that you get the instructions with the card. Yes, yeah, so you got the well. instructions. Really straightforward. There we go. I need to make sure that both the same. So both they are the same. And then what we have is, this is how it will come to you. Okay, it'll have base written down there and lid there. Very straightforward. This is a guide, uh, and you put your guide on the base side, mm -hmm. and this is how easy. Now, depending on how wide you want the box, these are the numbers across the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've got one to 12. So what I'm doing is I'm getting my one piece card, the two exactly the same. I line it up, and this is when the clock can start. And then all I'm doing is scoring down that line. So I'm scoring down number two, mm -hmm. like so. So all you need to do is make sure you score down two. There we go. Turn it round and get two again. Turn it round, two again. Whoops. Make sure you get it in line, like so. Always start from this edge. 
and it helps it score down like so bring it down and then you rotate it put it to the other side and do the same remember the number that you started so it was two and that's it and then obviously you need to put the box together so it's the lines that are very important and it's important that you do the base and then rotate the actual board to do the lid and there's my score lines done the next thing you would do is fold it now this is called burnishing where you simply fold it over and help it it helps the score lines basically and then you need your scissors and what you do is cut your tabs so you cut like so and do like almost like a little tab out rotate it and then you cut it again like so you've got two tabs now these are all in the instructions and then you need to have red liner tape or a strong adhesive okay and then what you do is fold down your tabs get your i mean the price is amazing everybody <coughs> i've been selling this box maker for about six to seven years now and it's one of the my favorite things because where else can you make a box in two minutes how many minutes what am i on two minutes or oh, well i'm a bit slow it's because i'm talking <laughs> You're going to let me off because I need to have a coffee. <laughs> okay. Uh, so simply just do your little tabs like so. So maybe I say I should say make a box in three minutes because I. I think you. I think you'd have done it in two minutes. I think it's just because we were chatting. But um, just yeah, yes, yeah. In no no time at all, is it? So remember, fold your tabs over, put your glue on. Like so, and then line it up. Obviously, if you use red liner tape, you can use that. Like so, like that. And then, then make sure, I should have written down which is my lid and which is my box base. <laughs> I think that one is my lid, so that goes in that. There we go. That's just, <laughs> I'm just, I can't believe it. I'm so, like, less than five what? minutes, you can make a box. How's that? That's Add incredible. proper and advertising. All you've done is less use than that five one board. So, yes. Yeah, so, um, depending on the width, okay, so what you have on there is that's line two. So, if you want line three, it'll be thicker. Yes. And so on. And you can do square, okay, as well. So, if you had. So that's what I was looking for. I had one square sheet. Oh, there they are. Oh, I just think that's absolutely juicy. Right, I've been told they need to do a bigger one. So this is a bigger one. So we, this is great for a square card. Okay. So essentially what I'm going to do is line it up again. Start from the top. Okay. Go down from the top and then score down. I mean, I'm trying to figure out, is this 250 GSM or 300 that I'm using in the actual... Um, 250 so i am going that way actually because i can't see what i'm doing on that side there we go so as you can see this is the lid oh i should have done number three but never mind this is number two so simply just start from the top go down and then what i'm doing is rotating it taking the guide out putting the guide in getting my next one Oh, do you know what? I keep I keep staring at this and I cannot figure out how it works. And I I understand how you do it and you turn around because because you think well the box the lid is has got to be a slightly different slightly bigger. It is than the box, which is why you turn it around presumably because it yes. makes make it slightly bigger. It does. But I can't figure out for the life of me how it works. But it's absolute genius. So this... I reckon I could do this, yeah. I mean, all yeah. you're doing is simply oh. refolding those lines over, mm -hmm. remember? And then all you're doing is cutting your tab out like so. So the line that you scored, you're using it as a guide to cut it like so. And then literally fold your tabs over 
get your glue or your red liner tape, whatever you find easy. This is why I use glue. I will be bringing this glue to you in the next coming weeks and months um, because it's quicker. But there's nothing wrong with lead red, uh, red liner, especially, you know, you'll have your own time at home. But look how easy it was to create this box. So that is either, <laughs> I didn't write it down again. <laughs> you might want to write it down, but it doesn't really matter because yeah. it'll go either way. As long as you remember to turn the actual, um, turn the board, you'll know one is a lid and one is a base. And it doesn't matter what order you do them in, does it? Because nope. it's that, as long as you swap it round, yes. it doesn't matter. So you have that option on and there. And the bigger, the, the higher the number you choose, the deeper the box will be. Yes, exactly. And there you go, so there is a big... And they one. don't have to be square. It, no. As long as the two bits of card are the same size. As long as they're the, the same, uh, two pieces of card, exactly the same, you can do square. I mean, I've done a square. I think I did eight by eight on this one. So I just need to make sure, hold it in place with your adhesive. And there it is, a box. Now, is that the lid? Yeah. I just can't believe how easy that is. There you go. That's incredible. So you can do oh, different sizes with those. And I mean, last time we had it on, it did sell out. So we brought some more stock back for everybody because everybody needs boxes. You know, if you have a square card that will go in there, lovely. You know, it'll fit in exactly. And that's, you know, to, so remember. So what I've done here is I've literally done, because it was started off as an eight by eight, uh, by using number two, I've made a card Sorry, a box to fit that card in. So you can then decoupage it. Do you know what I like about this as, as well, uh, Debbie? If you've got a shop and you've got an online shop and you sell something and it doesn't ha even have to be a craft item. No. And you sell something and you could say to people, couldn't you, for a little bit extra, mm. we will send it to you in a gift box. Yes, you And can you could make the gift box. And it could be for jewellery, couldn't it? It could be yes, a craft item. Yes, because you can make it a small be, box. Yeah. You could make, what a great idea. You've got your, your website and you say, yeah, on there, it's an extra two ninety nine, yes. and we will send it to you in a gift box. Yes. You could even pick the, the card yes. you wanted. And because I think with the brilliant. magazine, because what I was going to do <laughs> in this whole mess, let me just get the magazine and do this again. So what I was going to do is I picked a paper that you can actually decorate. There it is. I was going to put on that mini so it was to show you that you can then use your papers and decorate so all you would need to do how the boxes is done when you're decorating a box or anything mm. this is a technique i always do is literally get your piece of paper line it up mm -hmm. and you can use a pen or a pencil whichever one you find easy make a little mark where you need it to be so i'm just going to trim it down and you can make some gorgeous gift boxes. And I'm thinking as well, Valentine's is coming up. Then we've got Mother's Day coming yes. up as well, haven't we? And again, you know, if you had a craft stall, maybe, if you had your online shop and you wanted to make them for other people to enhance you, 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 whatever you, it was you were selling. Oh, well. definitely. Maybe you just want to create a beautiful card and it's got a deep decoupage on it and you don't want to squish that down. So look how easy Perfect. that was, okay? Yeah. And another top tip when it comes to decorating. Yes. Okay. Guess the width that you want. So for example, that's the width that I want. Mm -hmm. And just make a mark on the pencil, mm -hmm. okay? And because you need four sides exactly the same, what you would then do, instead of having to do that four times, is either measure. So for example, on here, I know that I need two and a half. Uh -huh. So I just put two and a half, like so. So top tips help, like, you know, especially if you are batch making. So there are my four little strips already. Yeah. And then you just put them together on there. That's brilliant. All the way along. That's brilliant. And didn't take long. So, it's so really... I can't believe it. I might it. as well do this now. I'm absolutely gobsmacked by how simple that is. 
Right. That's incredible. So that's just showing you how easy it is. But that's incredible. But I think we should do another card. Yes. And I, you know how to decorate that. But at least you now know a top tip of actually putting it together. Yes. That's brilliant. I'm desperate to have a go. <laughs> I'm desperate to have a go at that. Um, okay. I'm going to have a little go on that after the show. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. That's absolutely brilliant. So simple. Right, just a quick reminder of some of the fantastic items we've got uh, on the show today, starting off with the USB. So with the USB, you've got multiple uh, sheets and artwork design that you can download. You have got uh, different card sets. You've got backing papers. Don't forget, you've got variations of colour as well in the different elements that are on there. You've got sentiments, decoupage elements, all sorts of different bits and pieces you've got on the stick. And the sheer volume, the sheer volume of uh, artwork that you've got on there and design work that you've got on there is just phenomenal. In fact, over a thousand, over a thousand, absolutely incredible. If you want to get the USB, you can do that, of course. The price on the screen there is $17.99. It's volume two, and I absolutely love some of the design work in there. And it's sort of, it's sort of aimed, if you like, uh, at, as chaps. It doesn't have to be used uh, for just as chaps, but it's aimed at as chaps. And there's some beautiful, fantastic designs on there. Really, really love that. $17.99 is the USB. Of course, you don't have to get it as the USB. You can get it as the digital download. And you're going to get exactly, exactly the same, except you don't have the physical USB. And that also means you don't have to pay for us to post your USB either. So the price for the digital download download version of the USB is just $9.99 and also hopefully you'd get it even a bit quicker because we just send you the link which you get after the weekend and uh, you're ready to go ready to start printing $9.99 if you do order that please bear in mind that our system will automatically charge you P&P if you've not bought anything already but that will be automatically refunded you don't have to worry about that on the show as well today we've got the nested dies and one of the things actually that we talked about I talked to to, um, to Debbie about uh, a little bit earlier was the fact that one of the things I really like is a lot of the designs that she comes up with, whether it's on the USBs, whether it's on the, the uh, card kits, whatever it is, are designed to work in conjunction with the uh, dies, the metal dies. Now, you don't have to use the metal dies. You can cut them out if you, if you want to. But the point is that the dies and the uh, card kits, and the USB sticks, the elements work in harmony together. And I really like the way that that's always taken into consideration when the design work is done. $14.99 is the price there. That's for the arched frame. Now, don't forget that's nested uh, as well. So you can see you're getting all the different sizes in there for $14.99. There it is. That's the match it nesting dies for the arched frame. Called match it, of course, because they're designed to match the artwork and the other de designs. We've also got as well the basic square as well. Again, it's a nested die, so you've got a range of sizes in there. If you've got your uh, USB stick or your da downloadable elements, don't forget you can resize those as well. So using the nested square dies, you can see, if you want to make a particular element bigger or smaller or something like that, you can do that. Um, and you can use then your nested dies to go with it. $14.99 again is the price for those. Both of those are normally, well, 18 quid, essentially, 17.99. So you're saving it on both of those, but I love the fact that they complement and work in harmony. I like to use that phrase, I think, in harmony with the other artwork and vice versa. There we go, 14.99. Don't forget to get those items in your basket. They're a really, really good investment, Debbie, aren't they? They because are. Because once you've got those and you bring out new artwork in the future, you'll still be able to use They them. are, but essentially they are a nesting die, which means yeah. they're used for mat and layering. Yes. So you can actually cut out mm -hmm. the actual frames themselves. Mm -hmm. But because they are nesting dies, you can create large frames by using two dies together. Yes. And I will show you in the next hour how to do that. Brilliant. Because there's three different ways to use these dies. Okay. One as a nesting die, uh -huh. one as frames for, for like scrapbooking, right. and car, as well as card making and memory books. Yes. And the third way is because it's a match it nesting die, you can use it with my artwork. That's brilliant. I love that. So you can use two of the dies in conjunction with each other to create that border with the aperture creation. 
Yes, yeah, so I will show you how easy it is to do that. Amazing. So because we're running out of time, I thought we could do a quick demo, another one, before okay. we run out of time. Please, yes. Uh, so it's using elements from the USB key, but okay. also I'm using the magazine as inspiration. Brilliant. Okay, so yes. with the actual magazine, there is so much on here, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I've got here is I'm doing this project, just one here. Uh -huh. So with them all, all the step-by-step -step instructions are in there. It's telling you what you need, and the papers are in the magazine, and also from the USB key. Mm -hmm. So I've taken my base card and folded and a half. This is an easel card. And we're actually going to use some print magic and glossy magic when in a second. Uh, ben, would you pass me the glossy magic? Because I did have it here. I will. Just bear with me. And then I am going... The glossy magic, yeah? Yes. There you go. Brilliant. Okay, so there is my base card. Because of timing, I've already matte and layered... Um, Sorry, I've already put my ribbon strip on my paper already. Mm -hmm. I'm putting my glue on, sticking that on like so. Leave a little white edge. And then top tips when it comes to matting and layering, all I'm doing is I, I've got my paper out of the magazine. And then literally remember what I told you earlier is get your pencil and mark it where you want. I'm going to use a pen so you can see better. So I'm just marking a line there and marking a line there. This enables you to trim down to exactly where you want it to do. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to measure. Just use little dashes and it makes your life so much easier. And then so that is ready for the base, or I should say the front of the card. And then I have got, so that's going to go on there. And I just want a little bit of this to go down the middle. Mm -hmm. So yet again, I do exactly the same. I'm going to just line it up to about there. Line up what I want. I mean, card making doesn't have to be hard. It can be easy. But the other thing to remember with it, there's such a variety. You know, I've been doing card making now. My goodness, about 25 years. That's a long <laughs> time. So I have learned so many different techniques. So uh, uh, that's because... That is because I, um, the reason why I know that is I have just celebrated, well, last year, my 25th anniversary. My word. And yes, I was a child bride. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but I learned card making um, when I did my wedding invitations. And that's how I got into oh, wow. actual card making themselves. All right, there we go. Let's put this on so as you can see i've just trimmed that out how are we doing on time oh um, we're good for time at the minute i think oh good because i want to all oh, right i've got plenty of time to do some glossy magic so mm. this is so what i've got already on here so there's my base card ready everybody uh-huh and this is an easel so i've already got my sentiment that says here that's going to go there that will hold that up and this is a project in the card so here is my topper, and I've got a little stopwatch just there, so I want to put a glaze. So I'm going very quickly, use my embossing ink. Mm -hmm. Okay, you get an embossing pen in the actual kit, so you get two pots, one's print magic, and one is glossy magic. And I'm using the glossy one because I want the stopwatch to have like a glaze it looks like glass, essentially. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to use this sheet to catch the powder. Now, with Print Magic and Glossy Magic, what you need to do is gently tip it. You don't want to tap it off. Mm -hmm. And then any excess powder, just take it off. Then What's the reason for not tapping it? Because well? it all come off. Right. Most people who are into stamping will automatically want to tap it off yes. to take the residue off, but yes. you don't with print magic and glossy magic. Ah, uh, okay. So I am using a heat tool, hold it still, and it'll start to glaze over. And it looks uh, literally a few seconds. There we go, I can see it go. Oh, wait a minute, right one. So then what you then do, once you're happy with this, you can, I can see it already gone. I'm going to put another layer on. Yes. Okay. Now, 
this heat tool is not my normal heat tool, so I need, just bear with me because it looks like it needs to set a little bit longer. There we go. Put a bit more powder on. And then we'll heat up. Let's see where we go. Actually, this uh, looks like a hairdryer. Is this a heat tool? Oh, I don't know. It says Tresemme. All oh, right. <laughs> okay. So um, I left my heat tool in the car. Right. Which is my pink heat tool. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. This We've doesn't got look the real like McCoy a heat tool. Through now. This Danny's bringing through the real McCoy. Okay, that's why it's taken longer. There we go. Just while, the, just while we swap that over for Debbie, uh, just a quick reminder, of course, uh, the magazine with all the inspiration has been going really, really well indeed. Just $9.99. Uh, so it's normally $12.99. It's come down to $9.99. And in there, you're getting sort of £40 worth of extras. You're getting in there downloads, you're getting in there the papers, you're getting in there the stencil as well. There it is on your screen on the opposite side at the moment. 9 99 really good, not only for inspiration, but a multitude of projects in there, which Debbie has been demonstrating as well throughout the morning. Debbie, how's that one working out for you? Yep, this one's working because it's a heat tool. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, we've got a message that's come in. Yep. Who have we got? Um, oh, <laughs> from Elaine in Lancashire. Good morning, Elaine. Whoops, she says. Bought both magazine and USB. USB's from Debbie, amazing. The glaze is amazing, so quick. Elaine Christopher Chorley. Thank you, Elaine. That's great to hear. We love to hear that. And I agree with you. I think the USBs are just phenomenal. It is. It's brilliant. I mean, you get so much on here. Now, hopefully that glaze will come up, the gloss oh, that look you at can that. see. Yeah. So I have, move it this way. There you go. Yeah. And then to finish it off, okay, because I know time is the essence. Mm -hmm. All I'm doing is putting this on here. And then there we go. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You make it look so easy, but I think that's in part as well because the instructions are so straightforward, yes, aren't they? Definitely. And everything's in the magazine. It's inspiration. It's a great way for a reference library and it's go-to. You'll reach for it again and again. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I've got to say, I've liked everything that's been on the show. My favourite has definitely been the USB, um, along with, I know we're not supposed to have favourites, the box making tool. Oh, I yes. think that's absolutely brilliant. And I'm going to have a go with that after the show. I can't believe how easy that is, is to easy, use. It is isn't it? Absolutely three minutes, brilliant. less than three minutes. I can't believe it. Absolutely brilliant. I'm going to have a go with that later on. So don't forget, if you've got any items in your basket, be sure to make sure that you get them checked out because putting the item in your basket does not secure the item for you. Debbie, you're coming up later today. I'm back on at three o'clock and five o'clock. Three o'clock and five o'clock. And you're going to be showing us some more fantastic demos. Different, and different some techniques. items we've not seen today. Because yes. we wanted to get, we've got some book folding. Oh, we've got book well. folding as well. Oh, if you're interested in book folding, stay tuned for Debbie later this afternoon. And you can also shop ahead, of course, on the website. The book folding uh, uh, templates are on there as well. Please don't hesitate. If you're interested in that, you don't want to wait, then don't wait. Just get them added in, because with a lot of these things, we yes. don't have mountains and mountains of stock. Getting quick. Debbie, it's been an absolute Thank pleasure. Thank you. I will see you again soon. I'll see you all at three o'clock. Until then, keep on crafting and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.